I would rather channel my energy into working my purpose and destiny. There, see, he's not only going to do it for What's good, everybody? My name is Pastor George Rich. I'm the lead pastor of P3 Church in the city of Pompano Beach. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, you may have your seats in his presence. I am blessed. I am happy. I am full just being back with the saints again and the awesome privilege to be able to, to preach to the church that God has given me oversight over called P3. Again, I love y'all. My wife and I, we love you all. And we are so glad to be doing ministry with you. Can you clap your hands and give God glory for that? As we go to the book of Exodus, the 14th chapter. The arch plays a huge role um, in the black church. If you think about it, every Sunday, it's like a weekly production. You have singing, you have dancing. Um, you have drama, you, you have um, someone standing up for 20 to 45 minutes um, teaching a, a lesson. All of those are things that are artistic in nature. In a service, uh, a 75 minute service or depending on what type of church you went to, a three hour service, there was crying, there was laughing, there was cheering, there was dancing. Um, all of those are artistic expressions of our faith in the church. He is still being good. And I'm so glad I had a little, had a little revelation this week. And, you know, between, you know, being, having tested faith and tempted and temptation, and, you know, being tempted out of faith. And I said, you know what? I'm so glad that no matter what's going on, that God can't be influenced out of who he is. He's still the same yesterday. He's the same today, and he's going to be the same forever. So I know that, again, like I know we change, and you know, I... Arts has played a huge influence in my life, both as a child um, and as an adult. Um, I can remember some of my early experiences, even in the church, it was around the arts, whether that was singing or uh, doing my annual Easter or Christmas speech. Um, and the drama elements that was woven into those moments, um, they really kind of helped shape my life. And as arts has a way of doing, is that it pushes us to explore our own creativity. So I'm the professional that I am today because I, I am able to create. And I owe that to the arts, and I would even say that I owe it to my experiences growing up in church. The journey for me to becoming a pastor, um, wholeheartedly, I feel a sincere calling of God. Now, many people wage what is a calling, but I term it that a calling is a deep conviction that I cannot live without doing. And in the context of pastoring, it's really about serving people, serving them spiritually and even meeting some of their natural needs. Now, as a pastor, I'm no one's savior but I really try to model after Christ so that I can lead people to him. And the Bible says, you know, not want to preach, but if we can drink from his well, then we'll never thirst. Oh God, we come before your throne, oh God, acknowledging you first as our God, as our Savior. We thank your God for being our Lord. We thank your God because you alone, God, is worthy to be praised, oh God. In spite of all the trials, in spite of all the tribulation, in spite of everything that we're going through, the circumstances, God, you are still good and you are still worthy to be praised. You are still worthy to be lifted up. God, I would not hold. The church has a huge responsibility to help nurture artists within their churches. Um, one of the ways that they can do it is by giving them a platform to express their creativity. One of the things that I love about the church is that anybody can be somebody in the church. Now one, um, if, if you want to call it one indictment that I have is sometimes when someone is creating or, or expressing an art in a way that hasn't always been expressed that way, that the church can be challenged um, with embracing that. 
But one of the ways that the church can do to help nurture those artists is, is to give them those opportunities to express whether they are young or old. Um, whether that is at the annual Easter play or it's at the Christmas service, giving them a chance to sing, dance, or create um, artists even and poetry. We have a platform that we can give to them, and, and that's what we should be doing. Let's raise this as a body this morning. We need you. Oh, how we need you. Ooh. Oh. Let's say it online. We need oh. Come on, let's raise it up in the sanctuary. Let's tell them. Oh, we need you. We need you. Woo. Oh, how we need you. We still need you. Hey. Oh, how. We need you. Come on, let's tell them again, everybody. Let's raise it up everywhere. We need you. We need you. Oh, how? Come on, let's tell them. We need you. We still need you. Hey. Yeah. We need you. Oh, oh. I think it's been said, you know, that the church is a place where Anybody can be somebody, which which is an amazing thing because you don't have to be the greatest thing to be used in the church. And that's why many artists have really their first opportunity is, is in a church. And what greater training ground than standing up on a Sunday morning, um, talking to a room full of people, singing to them, dancing to them. Um, that, that, that becomes the training ground for them. And then the church as it always has and I believe has produced some of the greatest artists that we have seen. And I'll even go further and say that the black church has produced some of the greatest artists that the world has ever seen. Let it fall. Woo. Let the rain come down. Woo. Lord, release the rain. Release the rain. you know how to play it today, man. Wow. Um, if it's me, I would say that I can sing just a little bit and I can hold a note sometimes. <laughs> um, there, there, there is a dynamic that sometimes happens in church um, and it's like a melting pot of those that are skilled and those that are willed. Um, it is those that are volunteering and then it's those that have been voluntold. One of the ways that I found out that I was even a little bit creative was because I was voluntold. <laughs> and um, out of those experiences is that I learned um, what the arts were, um, how to express myself beyond just writing, but in song. Um, and one of my earliest experiences, which a lot of people don't know this, um, is that I actually have a stuttering impairment. One of the ways that I learned how to overcome that stuttering is that I, I learned how to talk in rhythms. And then music has a way of letting me kind of get beyond that hump. So even, even sometimes when I'm talking now, someone may see me tapping a pen or moving my fingers, but that is a way that rhythm has allowed me to kind of overcome those things in my life. Hallelujah. I don't, I don't normally do this after we have a preacher, but I most certainly do feel this because one of the things that he talked about was that God is shifting our season away from what does not work. And he said a lot, but I'm holding on to that because I know the people I pastor. And one of the ways that the church can assist artists in their community is by extending to them opportunities to express their talent within the church and even to the extent of 
allowing them to utilize church building space so that they can kind of foster that community to ex express their artistic ability. In the Bible verse where it talks about that one's gifts will make room for them, it's really talking about one that is being a good steward over the talents and the gifts that God has given them. So much to the point that he or she wouldn't have to announce themselves in a room because they have stewarded their gifts so much that their gift has already gone before them. Now in the stewarding of the gift that it has everything to do about one's pursuit of being excellent with that gift, being integral with that gift, so that you don't even have to announce, my name is such and such and this is what I do. People will know you by what you do. I am a third generation preacher, um, a second generation pastor. Um, and within my family, all of my uncles and my aunts and e even my brothers and my sisters um, are all singers or preachers or um, music producers within their own right. Can we just think about how mighty God is? Most times when, when we think of the might of God, we think of battle, we think of fight, we think of struggle and opposition. But sometimes God is just mighty in grace. <laughs> so what's next for Pastor Rich? Well, one is to continue to lead my church through these pandemic times, which has um, caused most churches, if not all churches, to create this new normal, uh, learning how to function with all that comes with COVID-19. Um, but also one of the things that I'm working on right now is a nonprofit called CARE, Christian Alliance for Racial Equity, where our focus is making sure that there is equity throughout Broward County in housing, in banking, in education, workforce, business, and even healthcare. Be because we believe that if we have all been created in the image of God, then we should all be treated equitably. Thank you. Hey, before I go, I want to invite you out to our Sunday morning services here at P3 Church. We're located at 2180 Northwest 18th Avenue in the city of Pompano Beach. You can also catch us on Facebook or on YouTube at P3 Church FL. We would love to see you in the place. God bless you.